world is her stage. Dude, I've had this song stuck in my head for so I long. I know. I'm Birth listening Soul, to every everybody. day. Like every time I'm getting ready, that's all I listen to. Right? I know. It gets stuck in your head. And so will we. We are the drinking broette. Welcome, guys. Hi. 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 Hey, girl. Hi. Hey. This is Tiffany. <laughs> that was perfect. That was really good. We didn't even plan it. That was in harmony. This is Tiffany Hart. Hi. Gorgeous. This is, stop. This is Jesse Wiseman. Stop. Don't start oh, with wait, it. Oh, wait, you didn't say I anything. Didn't, this is. I said stop before you even said. <laughs> anyway. You stop me before I can give you a, a, a long this list of Wiseman. fucking oh, compliments. Oh, stop, stop it. Don't stop, you dare. Stop. No. And uh, yeah, we're here. We're here. And I'm alive. Thankfully. Yeah. Technically, right now, we are in SHOT Show. So Shit, we are. Yeah. I hope that we get in contact with people. I hope we see some of you. Well, I know that some of the brewettes were saying that they were going to be there. They were trying to figure out. So people, I really hope that I, we see your fine asses out in Vegas and we can absolutely. have a good old time. That would be so much fun. So make some good drunken memories. Oh my gosh, you guys. If Find not, us on the strip. <laughs> if we're not grayed out yet. Wasted. Yeah, we'll definitely be brown. Not brown out. It's gray out. Gray Dan out. Dan was the one that made us Jesus, say brown out. What no. is your... It's Listen, we came up out. with the gray out together. Gray out. We're going to stick with it. Yeah, so we won't black out. We won't be ridiculous, but we'll be grayed out all over Vegas. There might be one night. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, probably No, the I'm last not going to do that in front of people. I know. We want to try and be professional. <laughs> We're going to be professional. Look, we can't control roofies. If they get into our drink, that's not our fault, <laughs> and especially in Vegas. I I'm do so leave an up. open drink everywhere, and I tell people oh, about I'm it. Oh, I have such a bad habit about that. Actually, the last time we went out, remember when we went outside um, just to, like, hang out? Oh, and, like, yeah, yeah. Look at, so we remember we had to remember, wow, words, we had to put our <laughs> drink on that little table. Yeah. So I brought my drink outside, and the bouncer came out. He's like, oh, you can't have these out here. I was like, oh, shit, I am so sorry. But I at the same know. time, okay, then I guess I'm just throwing it away because I'm not going to leave it inside here. Well, I did. I left it on that little table right outside the door, and I came back, and it was gone. And part of me was kind of bummed, but the other part of me was like, like, no, that's smart. Makes sense. Don't drink it, you dumbass. Just be okay with it. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. I clearly don't really care. <laughs> I just don't think you're it's like, going to happen. You're like, this will be fine. Let's see what drug I'm going to get tonight. And um, like, <laughs> people know that I've always said, like, I've never been roofied. It's kind of sad, but you know. I don't think that I have, but I will say there's been a few nights where. Where you're like, wait a minute. I really didn't drink that much. Yeah. But I got really sick and I definitely blacked out and don't remember a lot of it. And and you wonder, like, you don't want to sit there and think like, oh, and tell everyone, like, I totally got roofied unless you for sure did. Yeah. Um, because a lot of people go, OK, yeah, you sound just like an alcoholic, though, who's making up an excuse for All yourself. All I had was like 20 Jaegers <laughs> and like, you guys, I was blacked out. I literally had like 15 fireball yeah. shots. Yeah. And like, tw- that's usually what 20 it sounds like. Balls. Yeah, yeah. Where it's like, hey, maybe you didn't eat. Maybe like you got food poisoning. I don't know, but like, there. I think you. I think you would know. There's times. Do you know what I mean? Like, no, think I think you would so just too. know. Like, oh shit, yeah. right? I definitely know. There's times where I go, holy shit, I should have eaten more before I drank. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because I understand that. Like, part of the whole thing is you're like, I can be a cheap drunk. If I yeah, don't yeah, eat yeah. as much, yeah. I'll be a very cheap drunk. But for me, what happens is alcohol does not hit me until much later after like not eating. And then once it hits, that's where it's already going downhill from there. And I'm continuing you to, to drink. set yourself up as sober you mm-hmm. to deal with drunken you, right? Absolutely. Because drunken you was not there during the conversation of like, yeah. let me like not eat so I can only drink a little bit or let me like whatever. Like I'm not going to I'm not going to eat that much tonight or whatever it is, right? Yeah. After, like I'm definitely not getting pizza. That's what sober you. Oh, I meeting. do that every time. I don't care what I say to myself, what I won't eat when I'm drunk. I will eat mm. anything oh, when I'm drunk. Late. Oh, a my god. Late, we had late night shrimp that time. I'll have a late night yeah. slice pretty much every time we're going to Vegas. You're going to oh, have to pizza literally all day long. rip me away from Shake Shack around 3 in the morning. Ooh. You're going to have to be like, "No, we're not doing it." But yeah. again, we're having this meeting with sober us. Yeah. And drunk us is not invited to the meeting. So they are going to do whatever they want. For the most part. I, For I the mean, most part. You know, you plan stuff out like Ubers or Ubers. You, know, you make sure you don't drive places. Yeah. You make sure whatever. And stuff like that. But the food is going down, man. 
at, at my can't. favorite bar where I lived in in Washington before, they had this little hot dog stand. And uh, drunk me became best friends with the hot dog owner of, of the course. stand. Right? He was like this older guy that I always like hug and kiss, and he loved it. Of course he I did. I was like my hot dog dude. Hi hot dog. And he was like, "What do you want on it?" I was like, "Hook me up with everything." <laughs> like you know, and he would put fucking cream cheese. Oh, on the hot dog. Love with it. Every, oh, it was amazing. Love it. And that helped every single time. It would soak up the alcohol. I would never get sure. sick unless I unless I was just being an idiot. Um, and the next morning I'd feel better because of the fact that that was soaking up the booze. And, you know, like it got for half off because it gave him a little smooch on the cheek. <laughs> you know, you got to. <laughs> hey, we're not above it. No. We're not above it. <laughs> well, it's just part of life. <laughs> that leads me to ask you a question. So I'm going to ask you some questions today. Okay. So it's, what would you want to call so it? So we're, I would like to call this. So obviously if you guys have followed some of the episodes already, you guys knew I grew up in a very um, Christian household. So of course I had the bracelets that were all sewn and they said WWJD, mm. right? Mm -hmm. Obviously what would Jesus do? Sure. As a reminder to be a good person. Yeah. Like, right. Like, before you do something, like, would Jesus do this? Right. So, today, we're going to call this WWJD, as in, what would Jesse do? do? Okay. Don't know why. And Again. you know what's going to happen? We're going to make, uh, we might make bracelets from this. No, hey, look. No, we won't. Um, and but I'm listen, curious. And, you know, follow my advice at your own risk. <laughs> yeah. I guess. I don't well, know what the questions are. Well, so. I'm curious how yours would be different from mine, or if we're in the same oh, okay, yeah. boat here. So you talked about little side hustles, kind of, right? Like, hey, you do what you got to do. Like, you gave them a smooch, you got, like, half off your hot dog. So would you would you ever do an easy side hustle? And what I mean by this is that there's a lot of girls out there, and I'm sure there's guys out there, too, who will have, like, they call it, like, a fans-only page, mm -hmm. or... Um, Something similar to that where they're posting very, uh, I wouldn't say inappropriate, but they're posting sexual, like super sexy pictures of them, right? Okay. Some of them I think are clothed. Some of them I think they might be nude. But these individuals, mainly like their fans, are going to pay like a monthly fee to see all of their pictures. And mm -hmm. these girls are making motherfucking bank. Yeah. Okay. Because some of them charge 10 or $20 a month and they have like thousands of people following them. Mm -hmm. And when you think about it, that's like 20 grand a month just to post some pictures of you Dang. right that people have so people do Great that work if you can people get sell feet pictures i know some girls that i um that like they had a dude hit them up in their dms and said hey i'll give you money for a bra of yours and they yeah. hit up, they hit up their boyfriend or spouse and said mm -hmm. hey can you go to walmart get a really shitty bra and send it to this dude he's about to pay me 300 dollars for it mm -hmm. so is that something you would do hey sit on this cake Hey, sit on this balloon on this cake. Um, like would any of the side I hustles, like a fans only page, or would you sell like feet pictures, or would you sell like a fake bra for, for money? And would for, Ross be okay with it? For sure, one hundred percent, I would. Yeah. Um, I, I right now I don't need to. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm way too busy with the first job to need a side hustle. First job and kids. So the side hustle would take me even more away from the kids, right? Yeah. So I don't need to do it, but I absolutely would. Which one would you be okay with? Like the feet one? Okay. Um, what if they wanted you to do some like sick ass shit with your feet though? Like what? Put it in jello? Sure. What if they wanted you to like act like you're fucking a dick with your feet? No, I wouldn't do anything like, like with like a banana stuff. or a cucumber mm. or a big old squash. I don't think so. And I think I would do pictures and not video. I don't know if I okay. would do video of stuff. Okay. But again. So you just take like cute little snaps of your feet. I don't knock it. Yeah. At all. I had a friend who did that. Yeah. Like she, I, she there's some guy who said she had really cute feet and it was just like a really innocent picture. And he just, he said that he would like send her some money for it. And she, she asked her husband, she's like, Hey, are you okay with this? And he's like, yeah, sure. And it was literally like a quick snap just yeah. down at her feet while she was in the kitchen. And she's like, yeah, feet dude, pay me some money. I'm like, good on you, girl. I, like, I would, I think. Would you, would you ask Ross? But I don't Ross? know if it's a slippery slope. slope? Um, yeah. Would you I even think tell I him? Would, I would think I would ask him. Okay. Um, we would have to be in a completely different position mm -hmm. money-wise and stuff. Oh, okay. So you would only do it if you really to need that money. point. Yeah. Because some girls are just doing it because. Not for fun, no. It's for, yeah. Not because for fun. Because it's just, no, they have it a good job. would be like, hey, and this is the whole sex worker sex worker thing which is like hey this is what i can do 
I can make money from it. Do it. Mm -hmm. Do what you have to do. Yeah. Use that money to do other things. I don't give a shit. Um, would Ross be okay with it? Yes, if we were in a position that we needed money. Sure. I think Chris would be similar in that aspect. Like if we needed and the again, money, I have no idea. Yeah. He would not. He would be okay with me doing the feet and probably selling like a bra that he bought from Walmart. Maybe. Right. You know what I mean? But right. the thing is, with with him, he would be like, well, "Why are you?" Like, why are you even entertaining these? This is the question that yeah. he would ask. Why are you even entertaining these guys? Why are, like, it's weird that they want shit from you. Like, this mm -hmm. is where his mind would all go. Mm -hmm. And is this a slippery slope where all of a sudden you send them this and then they want all these other they things? They for and one other thing and it's like they up the dollar amount and then you just have to be, especially, you just have to be careful when money yeah. and sex is involved. Just be careful because you're going to maybe do stuff that you don't, really want to do yeah if you want to do it like that girl dame right mm -hmm. it seems like she's into it like she wants to do it right yeah so get it girl absolutely right like hustle and do it well and the thing do is what too, you gotta do if you so don't I'll tell you like this. it don't do it if it makes you feel uncomfortable don't do it but yeah if you like it i'll tell you this right now if i was single like her yeah and looked like her I would be fucking selling all my pictures. Oh my gosh, I'd sell all kinds of stuff. Because she's fucking sexy as shit. Yeah. Like, I look at her as a woman, and I'm like, I'm turned on. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so I just think, you know, back to, like, before Chris, and I was in a different life and stuff like that, and I had her looks and her body. I would totally probably do, like, a fans-only page or exclusive thing. Dude, that is, the, what, and especially if I needed the money. Yeah. I didn't have like a job that would end up finding out that I had these things, yeah. right? Because that's the only thing is like if I had a job that was okay with it or just like I was a, a waitress and something on the side. Yeah. Oh my God, all day long. Yeah. That's yeah. like one of the awesome, one of the most awesome side hustles. So it's, if it's you and that's your thing, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, do it. Get it. But again, but I can't do, do that. I can't do that now. Do what you want to do. Uh, I, I want to do that now. And, and be wary of the slippery slope, right? Where yeah. you like start losing your sense of what is okay with you yeah right? what you is have really to... okay with you yeah and the the only thing that kind of gets uncomfortable is like the sugar daddy stuff where like um they'll buy girl stuff for videos that feels very intimate yeah you know i know what I'm saying? like they don't ever meet them but they're like a regular oh, on their yeah, page yeah, yeah. that like buys them stuff or puts stuff in their amazon account or things like this that feels a little bit too intimate to me i'd like it to be more faceless as far as like yeah i feel that who's buying the stuff who's watching it like i don't want to everyone's have... so different when it comes to this because there's this girl that i know and she has a boyfriend yeah right and, and she's fucking stunning she's in a ton of magazines doing a ton of shit um and she has a dude who just will like buy her shit yeah and he bought her like a he bought her a horse he bought her what'd she have to do for it? i don't i mean she said nothing Nothing is free. I Nothing want to believe that, but I don't know. Like, I don't know. Nothing. Right. But I, in my head, I was like, your boyfriend's okay with that. Cause in my head, I'm like wondering you, I mean, of course you wonder what, how, what's the relationship like? What is he, what does that old guy think it's like that he's buying you horses and stuff. Right. It's just not for nothing. It's not for no, nothing. That's what she said. You know what I mean? Of course she did. And I'm, and sometimes I'm and maybe not you don't even really see what you're paying, right? You don't even really, really see what you're giving up for it. Yeah. Except for you answer his calls all the time. You talk to him when you don't want to. You do. Th you don't do nothing. Yeah. You don't just never talk to him again. I promise you that. Right. I, yeah. I, this is a very. That's what I mean. This is a very different world for me, in a way, because this. I mean, some people are totally like, yep, this is totally my thing. This is totally awesome. I'm going to take advantage of it. And other people are like, this is kind of like, I don't want to say prostitution, but it kind of is. Yeah. And so that's where I'm always curious where people get their take, right? Because they're like, basically, you're selling pictures of your body for money. Yeah. Or in, in videos, like intimate things that, you know, people like porn stars or all these other girl call girls and stuff will mm -hmm. do, right? And then other people are like, no, this is awesome that everyone can do this now. I'm going to do this. Yeah. And I'm totally okay with it. And these are my boundaries. And so that's why I'm just curious what people's thoughts are on it. Because to me, it's so new. And it's, with, my, with, with where I'm at in life, obviously being in the military, I would never do it. Right. Um, I don't think me morally, like I would be okay with it, mm -hmm. me personally. But that's mm -hmm. just me. Mm -hmm. um, especially, do, 
especially <laughs> I say that wrong all the time <laughs> too because I of course respect my husband and love him and he would never be okay with that right and I would never want to do anything that would jeopardize our relationship even if we really needed the money I know that he would be like I'd rather you work like four different jobs and just be gone all the time and da 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 then do this and make easy mm. money and that's just how it works for us yeah but it's not everyone's like that and yeah. every relationship's different yeah so I, you know feet pics i think would be kind of funny but i think at the end of the day chris will still be like why why we yeah we're like need what it. else are they there's always the thing of like but what else are they asking yeah. you to do um because i don't answer guys dms at all on social media None. no no yeah. I just don't because I just don't like I only to, get sent crime corners but still yeah like, well it's just one of those things where sometimes I feel like that could almost be a slippery slope and I don't want to group up anyone in this and I'm not saying that if you do if you answer guys DMs you're wrong by any means nope this is just just what works for my relationship yeah out of respect for him he knows I have like a decent following he knows I constantly have like guys in my comments saying like oh you're beautiful you're awesome you know and you can only imagine sometimes what people could say you know, in a DM. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, that, I that just, people can't see. Sure. So yeah. Yeah. And I just kind of do it. I respect, even if they ask me a professional question or a work thing, or it's something funny, I feel like I just answer them and now they're in my inbox. They now have access to me whenever. Yeah. And maybe it will initiate a conversation that give them the wrong impression. And I don't want to do that while I'm married ever. And I think that's respectful to everyone involved. Right. Sure. So it's respectful to the guy that may get the wrong idea. Mm -hmm. It's respectful to your husband. It's just a DMs can be real, you know. Yeah. That's a slippery slope in itself. Like, I would love for you guys to just comment on my picture. Right? Because like, you like, have a DMs question. Get, yeah. Like, here's the thing. I'm dumb. But I'm <laughs> no, definitely like, super smart. I'm dumb and busy. So it's kind of like if I look at the Instagram and the DMs, they're um, broken up into three different categories. So Yours it's like are, yeah. General. Mine's not. Why? Mine's all in the same because I have a private profile. Oh, okay. so mine all go into mine all go into like just one inbox or there's the ones that um, if I'm not friends with, they go into like the separate the other. Yeah. The minute I accept them, though, they get access to my main inbox, which so sucks. mine so is yours primary, is general yeah. and requests. Yes. The so requests, it's like which is other. Yeah. I, I know. Way too much. It's a I lot. Would, but if I see it, if I see the comment on the picture, I'm like answering right away. Right. Same. So I don't know. You know what? Ugh, I mean, whatever fucking popular girl problems no i'm just joking you know, you know one thing i notice though about dms and it's really hard because i really love answering people um there's i have i get a lot of dms i don't know what's normal uh but i get a lot and i'll get a lot of people telling me stories or asking me a lot of advice and questions I think and stuff like you're that you're really open on instagram too yeah. and you open conversations where I, you're like yeah hey you know like this is how i feel about this how do you guys feel and there's some people that don't want it to be public public and i totally get that because they're being open with you mm -hmm. but at the same time i'm sure it's a lot but i get i do i do get a lot of air force or military questions and a lot of questions about my job or girls who want to go into seer and so like for example there's this girl i guess she's going through seer training right and so she hit me up and she was like hey um you know i'm going through team do you have any like tricks or tips for me and so part of me was like well there's no trick to it you just you just gotta <laughs> pass it right yeah, yeah. um but I did tell her the one trick that I told on one of the Drinking Bros podcasts about the salt with the uh, banana slug, right? If she oh, can keep yeah. like a salt packet, it would help her out, right? So I told her that because yeah. I learned that myself and I thought it'd be cool like pass it on to like maybe totally. one of the next girls. Totally. And then of course, like the advice I gave her was basically just, um, you know, don't ever think about quitting because I think the minute you think about it, you, it gets in your head and it's like a mental battle and you're just, it's just going to go downhill. So don't even think about quitting. Right. Um, that's my advice with running. Yeah. <laughs> just don't stop. It's, no, but it's like, as soon as you get it in your mind that you, do. you can, it's, yeah, you do. I agree. As soon as you're like, Oh, maybe I'll stop for a second. You do. That's you, what I'm all saying. All of a sudden your body just like, dun, yep. dun, 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 dun. but it's anyway, a mental battle. It's a mental. And so it was that I'm trying to think what else I told her. I was very proud of my response to her. <laughs> Um, I was, uh, you know what I mean? Cause I like, I kind of didn't really know what to say. And so I, I thought about it for a bit. So I said, as for tips, I said, just use humor to get through it all. Like all the tough moments. Cause that's what we did. Fair. Um, I said, never, ever think about quitting. And I said, keep up your motivation and drive. Even if you suck at something initially, I said, all the cadre will respect determination and they do respect determination and they will work with you because of it. Cause they did with me. Cause I wasn't like perfect at everything right away, but they saw that I was trying no matter what yeah. came at me. I never quit. So they worked with me for it. I said, oh, and enjoy every moment 
moment of team because it'll be one of the best memories that you'll look back on. I said, kick ass girl, keep up the tradition. Love it. Right. Guess what my response was? She just liked it. Oh. And so I was kind of like, really? Like, did you want to? <laughs> and so this, I get this often sometimes, not often, but I would say maybe 40 to 50% of the time. Someone will write me like a lot or they want a lot from me. Right. And so like I'll put in time and effort and I'm like, get excited. And I, we're going to start a dialogue. dialogue. We're going to have a yeah. conversation. Well, and when the, people ask you for advice, I'm spending time out of my day right. and I'm not trying to make it sound like, uh, I'm not trying to make myself sound arrogant here, but when someone takes time out of their day and takes energy to put into you and the question that you ask or like give you tips and advice and all those other things. I mean, if anything, maybe like a thanks or, Oh my gosh, this is, thank you so much. I really mm -hmm. appreciate that something, even mm -hmm. a thank you. But when you don't answer at all, mm -hmm. it's just silent radio silence. It's kind of a big slap in the face. Yeah. And so I've gotten that I've written plans for people. I've given them tons of advice, paragraphs, like on all the million questions that they ask, like I've gone out of my way to, you know, to really help them. And I've gotten like nothing in like no response. Updates, no, like, no, not, no, not even yeah. a thank you, not mm -hmm. even a response back. And I'm oh, kind of okay. like nothing. Well, you know, and it's kind of like, what a what bummer. helps me with doing this show and you will see this now is like the most that you guys can do for us really is like listen you know mm -hmm. like listen to our show recommend our show right that's sure. huge and so for me when people do that or like i don't get a response back or something i'm like well they started out by saying they're listen to the show every week right sure. and so i'm like all right you've done that for me i can do this for you right mm -hmm. and it's an even exchange well i'll tell you but this for right you, now it's like oh they watched your instagram and then you gave them this help and so well i get that for that yeah yeah i want to explain though i don't do i don't do any of this for a, like a thank you yeah, 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 or a response or like for them to go out and be like, oh my God, I think Tiffany's so awesome. Mm -hmm. I do it really out of the kindness of my heart because I really do care. And I was really excited for her mm -hmm. or I'm excited for these people because they're very honest with me. Mm -hmm. I think the only thing that kind of like bums me out a little bit is it's kind of like, oh, okay. Like I, cause I put my heart into yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. And then and we're I like also to insecure personal. about it too. Like, was that the wrong thing to say? say like, girl, yeah. like, tell me it's cool. Like, tell me we're good. Like something. Right. Yeah. Cause we're girls too. You can't send us back a K. That's literally like shooting us in the face, <laughs> which we've said before. Kai. Don't just send me a like or a K. I will literally yeah. take it. Like you hate me and you want to kill me. I think that's, that's the only thing. And maybe I'm just being, maybe, maybe I'm just taking it too personal. You guys can tell me if that's something I just need to be like, ah, oh, whatever. Like, Right. Or maybe, you know, the other thing, too, is I think people will probably say is they don't want to bother you. Like the way that people think about you is probably more than you think about yourself. Right. So like the way that people see you is like so busy, so awesome, so many followers, like you have so much going on, like they don't want to bother you. Mm -hmm. So maybe like they get a response back and they're like, cool, thanks. I don't like, mind. You even never cool, know. Like, I don't mind even that. But there's nothing. But they don't know yeah. what you mind. Right. Like they don't know you. They don't know. They don't know if you're like i didn't want to start a whole big conversation i just wanted to you know oh I mean? no well see i don't mind and that's the thing too is like i think sometimes you can tell like if i there will be times where i'll get messages and like i look through them and i go i read it and that's a beautiful message i just can't engage i, I just with don't that. i can't engage right now because i don't have the time or the energy right and that's fine and i do that sometimes people don't understand that when i will eventually do, when you do engage that you want a response they're probably just like oh my gosh i got i got something back like thank you you know like i'm not gonna bother you anymore like people that are like i think i'm not gonna bother be, you sorry i think that could be true for some of them but i'll be honest i think for others i think they just are like cool see ya yeah they was honestly i think they really just want and information you know, look, they want it free advice free information they got it and they were like cool because no offense some people are selfish out there and they're like they're in this for you yeah and i'm not saying all are like that because i know there's been a few that have been like oh my gosh i Oh, I forgot to respond or thank you so much. I really appreciate it like later on because um, they're busy and maybe that was the case there. Who knows? But there are some people who are just like, cool. I just got a free workout plan. And <laughs> oh, yeah. Advice from you. Well, for sure. See ya, bitch. <laughs> like, later. <laughs> <laughs> and so I've got like, cool. And, and the only thing that sucks about it is that it almost deters me from wanting to do it for other people who I know will probably be really appreciative. It's kind of like, I just literally spent a whole hour yeah. writing this thing up for you because I'm really excited and I get, okay, so do I continue to do this? Mm -hmm. And the thing is too, sometimes when I do this for others, 
I do it really late at night when I actually have time. Like Chris is in bed or like I can't sleep. Yeah. Because I really kind of don't have a lot of time to respond to DMs all day long. I don't know how people can do it. I could. I don't know how people can do it, but people do. And you know, I hate responding. I I hate sometimes just being away from work for a week, right? With my out of office reply up, and I go into work and I go, "Oh my god, I got fifty-seven emails." Yeah, I have to respond to, and I mean, most of them I'm deleting them, but I'm just still like, "Ugh." Yeah, DMs. For me, though, aren't like that. They're exciting because I get to talk to you guys in. Yeah, yeah. Figure out more. And even sometimes um, I get just, I get motivation inspired from you guys. There's been a f- few girls who reached out to me in my DMs been like, oh, girl, I feel for you with what you've been going through. With, like, yeah. the miscarriage and mm-hmm. stuff. And, like, I'm here for you. And, like, please don't ever think that. And it, it's it been nice. It's been almost kind of the opposite because normally people are asking stuff of me. But instead, these people are going, I'm here for you. And I'm like, oh. Yeah. I love you guys. So you know? I think what we learned is Tiffany doesn't need you to like give her a big thank you, but if you don't, fuck you. <laughs> is right? that what it boils down to? No, I never whoa, I never said no, no, fuck I'm you. Joking. But I, I will just say no, my heart my here's heart's what little we bombed. really learned. My heart's, heart's a little re- bombed. Here's what we really learned. That's it. That you're actually an insecure person like all of us. Mm-hmm. Mm. And you're not too totally busy for any of it. No. And you know, when you do engage with someone, then you put your yourself out there mm-hmm. and now you're the insecure person that's like, hey, did you like that answer or did you like that plan or yeah. did it work for you? And so you're right. Yeah, like I said, totally sometimes, nice sometimes they don't have a little think, bit of validation like, oh, thank you so much. I appreciate they that. don't think of you as an insecure person because you don't really put that out there like you're really positive. You really just like I don't know the last one of the last posts I posted it was on my my belly essentially and saying that I was insecure about my body. Right. Um, you know, what? well, I'm saying, I mean, I try sometimes it's hard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, and the thing is too, is when I tell people about my insecurities, I don't want people to invalidate them and go, Oh girl, you barely have a belly on you anyway. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, my whole life, my stomach's been the only flat thing on my body. I, like, yeah. And I've been proud of it. And now it feels like right. I still have that baby inside. Right. So yeah, I think that's the that's main the only thing is part it kind of, um, I think it's bringing, it, it's more of an emotional thing sure. too than it is like actual. So you definitely put that in the post where it's like, you know, you, but I'm not you, looking for validation in that when I, in that sense, when I put out the insecurity, I looking for people to go, you know what? I'm insecure about this and this too. And I feel you. Yeah. And that's the only thing I think I wrote in there was please don't invalidate this and tell me that I look fine. Because you did say it is tied to the emotion of the miscarriage. It is and tied stuff. to emotion like, of it. Yeah. What you see, which is a perfectly in shape body, and a lot of people will be like, "Shut the fuck up, bitch." Sure, Sorry. but this is but me. like they will. Yeah. Um, but what they, but what you're explaining is that um, it's tied to an emotional thing that happened, and your body is not the same. Whether it's correct, it's not the same, it's and not. that doesn't feel good for anyone. Like, well, it's a remi- yeah. It was when a your reminder. body doesn't feel like yours and that it's not going back to the way that it was yep um you feel and a lot of like moms or people that have kids or miscarriages or whatever can definitely relate to that where you're just like maybe i look skinny to you but there is yes some... and i wasn't trying to say that yeah, but yeah, you're yeah. Right. no you're absolutely right because there was an emotional thing tied to it absolutely and, uh, and that was yeah you are very vulnerable on there but i still think people like it is good to remind them that like you are an insecure person and like if you don't get a message back like you are a real person that's yeah. like, uh, 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 and you're not, you're not just throwing, you're not just blowing them off. Like you never look at the message again. It'd be interesting for them to know that you actually go back to it and go, did they get back to me or, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, no, you're right. So that's sort of like the well, takeaway. I, not, I was sort of making a joke. No, no, I know. The takeaway is like, you are a real person. I if am. You don't get a response. Dude, just I like tell anybody people that else. all the time when they meet me, sometimes there's been, it's really uncomfortable. <laughs> um, that I've had a few people when they meet me just like really kind of freak out. Like I know I'm me too. Justin Bieber <laughs> or something. They never do with me. But oh go my ahead. god! Yeah, right. But I, <laughs> but I think it's because me too. So I think it's because number one, it's like some facade that's on um, social media, right? When you have like a screen in between someone and and people place importance on like numbers or likes and mm-hmm. stuff like that, mm-hmm. and they they might. Uh, I mean, and the thing is too is like. When you think about it, whatever I post on social media it could be whatever people want to like think about me, mm-hmm. right? That's all they see. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I every time that you meet someone and they get kind of excited, I tell them, "Hey, 
I'm like just a normal person. I'm really actually not that cool. <laughs> yeah. Like I try to remind them like I'm normal. Like I'm just like you. I shit my pants. <laughs> okay. I fucking get insecure. Uh, my face breaks out. Yeah. I get, hey, guess what? I get periods too. Just right. like everyone else. Uh, We're just like you. Like we treat the help <laughs> really well. Do you know what I mean? Like you I guys would be surprised to know how like much five I tip my help. Okay. <laughs> Cause I'm just like you guys, and I get it. No, I get joking. Botox like literally <laughs> every week, but that's totally. But I put it on a normal. payment plan, okay? I can't pay it all at once, just like you. All right. I wish. God, I, I do. Can, the only place that I go lets me put it on a payment plan. I put it on a credit card and go. Oh my god! I hope I can pay this off later. They don't give me. <laughs> they don't give me credit cards anymore. How about that? I'm just oh! like you. <laughs> they don't fucking give me credit cards anymore. Well, fuck because you. I maxed them all out. <laughs> Okay. I'm about to get another I one. I don't pay my bills. In all honesty, I'm about to get another one here. They really don't like me. To address the credit world. Really? Either they do, they, they either really do like me. you have good like credit me? or bad credit? Ish. Oh, okay. I have ish credit, right? Where it's like, they'll give me some money. Yeah. But not as much as literally anyone I know. They'll start me. Here's what they do. They start me off uh-huh. low to see if I can handle it. <laughs> and then they'll bump it up. Just yeah. like it. The creditors are like my dad, basically. Oh, okay. So they're like, just like, all right. We're going to try this one more time. We're giving you this much. Let's see if you can handle that. If you can handle that, we'll give you more, right? Anyway. Did they do that with you when you were younger? Uh, did he give you money when you're younger or something like, like that? And so you oh, think that's no, kind of... Oh, no, I'm just of, saying, oh. like, the oh, creditors like treat dad. me oh. like parents, where they're like, let's see if you can, you know? <laughs> and if you can keep your room clean for a week... We'll let you like, see, you know what I mean? Stay up late. Mine is the opposite of my parents where they're like, here's 20 grand. And I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do with this? You are this? not like us. <laughs> see, you guys, you're right. Well, Tiffany is gonna... way above us. No, I've actually. She's not a normal person. I've... 20 grand? Or 25, yeah. There was one that bumped it you up. Will be, I will, I'm <laughs> so embarrassed to tell you how much they won't give me. <laughs> I had one card though. Oh. I had one card it was for like for a business thing and I asked for 20 for it. Right. And I only got five and I was kind of like, what the fuck? Oh, that's more Cause like I was it. like, I got good credit. Like more I have like excellent credit. Right. Yeah. Um, but luckily my dad taught me about it when I was younger mm. and they didn't let me have credit cards and stuff like that at all. And I remember like purposely, they were very specific on it. Like while I hated them for it at the time, cause I wanted credit cards and all that shit. It helped me. Mm-hmm. And in my last relationship, like my last marriage, like I was the only one who can get us anything like housing or whatever because Dang. of my good credit. Cause I guess his was so bad. Um, and so that's what the, I remember I didn't really know much about credit. And so the lady was like, listen, you have immaculate credit. And I was like, I need to start looking into this a little bit more. Right. Right. Because I never really had a credit card before. I only had a debit card. My parents never let me have one. Yeah. Right. And so it wasn't until that moment, the lady was like, you have great credit, even though it's kind of like still new. And so I keep track of it now, but it's, it's getting hard because with things slowing down and like spending money, Mm -hmm. I'm like, I, I need money. Right. But where's it coming from? Well, Unless I like, want to sell feet pictures. Sounds like the credit the creditors will just give you everything you want. <laughs> sounds like you're a but spoiled I'm, brat. No, no, no. But to by keep, your credit parents. But to keep good credit, though, you have to use less than 20% of the card. Right? Oh. Mm-hmm. So I, so I can't. I use so even I might have a 20, 25,000. <laughs> and then I slowly just pay the minimum for the rest of my life. <laughs> I think you brought me as one of my friends. Oh my god, I'm. I'm not to joking you. That's what I do. <laughs> oh my god. That's so the so creditors funny. love me because so, they make three times the amount they gave me. Uh, yeah. Over well, the course of thirty years. I will say years, this. Yeah. The whole rewards thing. Sometimes I think when I got my Amex, it was for the Delta, right? Um, it said, "Hey, use three thousand or spend three thousand dollars within the first month or something, and you'll get." 60,000 points and I was like I'm gonna rack this baby up but luckily I paid like a lot of it off right and so like I'm really good at that I'll pay off chunks so if it tells me I need to pay off $90 I'll put on four or five hundred right and just try to try to if I can because sometimes the interest is so bad yeah. that I'm just like Jesus I feel like I'm you know taking two steps forward and one step back mm. so I think that's the only other thing I'm gonna get here is a credit card with zero interest for yeah. 18 15 18 months well and wait take- because we're gonna get business stuff so calm down oh okay so we're okay well I wasn't do that because I have my yeah. Amex card is literally like 25 or 27 percent and right 
because it's the Am- it's Amex. Sure. And uh, that's the one who has like I think it's twenty five thousand mm-hmm. limit. Mm-hmm. I think I only have like four on there, four grand. But the thing is though, it's when the interest comes out, it's like a hundred and something dollars. I'm like, dude, I just mm. literally put four hundred on. It's now taking that away, and I'm not even using it. Yeah. So that's the hard part for me. Sure. I'll tell you what have my you parents. Got, have you gone on uh, credit karma? <laughs> Did I just say Kermit? Credit karma. That sounds like a sponsor. <laughs> it's not, but we will go to our sponsors now. <laughs> That's exactly what they say in the commercial. Have you gone to creditcarma.com? <laughs> what? That? So I just, oh, I'm so sorry. It just was a commercial. <laughs> Fuck me. We did a commercial. We I will tell commercial. you what my parents taught me um, about credit when we're done with these. Um, it's a lot different than yours. That's I wanna, for sure. Yeah, I want to hear. Oh. Yeah. I hear. It's real from easy. Ojai, it's a real simple. California. Yeah. <laughs> Hippie parents from Ojai, I'll let you know exactly okay. what they taught me. Tell me. Yeah. <laughs> um, right after ghostbed.com yeah. forward slash drinking bros. Yes, it's drinking bros. Ladies, that's the network. So it's for Ross Patterson Revolution and us and drinking bros. It just makes it easier for you guys. Um, they'll get it by now. If they'll they get it by now. 11, yeah. you, you guys will get it. Yeah. And so. so the 25% off ended last week. Whoa. Um, they should be having, we're, we're um, recording a little bit in advance because we have to roll on to Vegas. Mm-hmm. So there should be another, there's always deals, amazing deals at GhostBed. And then if you're military or first responder, there's 15% off. So at the very least, you'll get that. Um, the best deal that they had was 25% Actually, they have a- off. What's the new one? They have a uh, 25% off flash sale right now Yeah, so for the next ending. 12 days. What? Looks like it. Or is it 12 hours? 12 hours. Damn it. Yeah. Wow, I just read that so clock So it was wrong. ending. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But she has great credit, you guys. I have really good credit. I just can't read clocks. Can't read clocks? No. But credit. Not the ones with more than two Shut spaces. Shut up, Jamie. <laughs> But anyway, Jamie's just laughing at me at my expense. <laughs> Not if there's. <laughs> anyway, why am I the way that I am? Because <laughs> you're amazing and awesome. So because you have other things to deal with. Yeah, like credit. Like credit. <laughs> awesome credit. Getting shit tons of money. Paying your help. Shut up. Answering all your DMs. Oh being my god. Pretty. Listen, no, now you, you make me sound things. like an idiot. Oh, I'm okay. joking. I'm just No. I'm just lightening the mood with that. Yeah. But anyways, so there should be another one at some point. Um They still have though two hundred dollars off up to two always, free pillows. Always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said the pillows were pillows are amazing. Awesome. You always have a cool side of the pillow. If that doesn't sound amazing Ooh. to you, shut <gasps> off this podcast right now. I'm always turning around my right? pillows, man. And it's the same material as the bed so you're just on this like Soft, amazing heavenly. heaven wave of mm. ghost bed amazingness that's contouring to your body and changing your life according to my dad changed his life wow and that's big coming from my dad because he doesn't really talk that much wow so, this changed my life he just has back problems he still does manual labor work mm-hmm. at like 68 good so, for him yeah no, he's not 68 yet. He's 65. But anyway, <laughs> he's all sorry, dad. He's in his 60s. We'll just say 60s. Yeah. You're in your 60s, dad. I did it with my still, parents, too. still doing, yeah. like, manual labor. And he's, like, just always kind of has back problems. And he's, like, after I got the ghost bed, it has literally changed my life. He's sleeping, which is huge. As long as you can get sleep, yeah, you can do so much you more. You know what? I need to get this for my parents. Remember, I told yes. you that they have that fucking water bed, I think, still. <laughs> The Denver PD. When you told me that, <laughs> A, I thought you were lying. No. And B, I still actually can't believe it. They, you I'm pretty act- sure they still do. Like, I'm not even kidding. Didn't I you think say it was like really, really full though? Now it's super firm. Like, they got like a different, I don't even know what it's called. Like, they got a different, oh, co- like t- cover for it. Like, not thing? even cover, but whatever you put all the water in, like the mattress material mm. is like super thick and they've filled it up. Like, just I don't know. Sleeping on a on a pillow of mildew and water and parasites. I, I think they do. Watch, my mom will listen to it and be like, "Are you kidding? I do not. I, I can't believe that. you. Told- we put a mattress inside there forever ago. Yeah, she's gonna be like, "Why don't you come? Why don't you come home more often and see it for yourself?" I like our I like our dueling moms. Like, we won't do. let the other one talk. She it's doesn't talk perfect. like that either. No. <laughs> like, shut up. She's actually really sweet. She'll be like, "Tiffany, no, I can't kidding? wait to meet her yeah. because she sounds like a." Like She's your awesome. best friend when mm-hmm. moms are best friends and she likes a little bit of vodka. I'm no. down to oh, hang out girl, with her. Oh girl, she's fun. Yeah. Um, but anyway, ghost bed. 
Have you ever seen SLC Punk? No. This movie? Uh, there was this like German guy in it that was like, look, the waterbed has no no ripples, <laughs> no waves. And he's like, isn't that just a normal bed? bed? I think that's so what it hurts. That's what so I thought we, of when you were I like, do. they make it really full so it's firm. And then they have a top on it. I'm like, that just sounds like I think a mattress to me. They're old school in some ways. And I think right. that's one of the ways. But I really think that maybe next, you know what, maybe this Christmas, because all of us kids Let's go in and it. pitch in like money for their gift, like because we all get them just a big gift together. We'll talk to ghost bed. We'll get too. them a ghost bed. Yeah. Because I think my dad will sleep a lot better. Because yes. he'll sometimes fall asleep on the couch. He doesn't sleep that well. He has to have certain pillows. It really is amazing. And he's also very active too and had hip surgery. Yeah. And he's running all the time. I think it'll help him. Yeah. It really is amazing. Yeah. Not just saying. And I have to keep my status as their favorite child. So yeah. that will Blammo. help me. And then you out need there. to get a guest bed, ghost bed. Right? I'm right? afraid, though, that if you do, worry. all the drunk people are going to want to keep staying at our house, which is fine. I'm putting glitter everywhere. I know. <laughs> Great episode, by the way. Um, oh God, next yeah. up, I guess we're going to do Felix Gray. Yeah, let's do Felix Gray. Let's do Felix I love Gray. Them. Um, do you have your glasses over there? I do. You? These are the so black frame ones. These are, so it's Felix Gray glasses.com. Mm-hmm. Are we doing a forward slash drinking bros? With yes, that? we are. Okay. So you go to that landing page just to kind of show that you came from drinking bros, mm-hmm. but, um, there's no, they'll run their own deals. They don't really have any deals connected with us, but. Their price is what it is. They are Pay for a what you small get. business startup in New York. Two guys doing it and killing it. And they really make an amazing, great product that's going to last you. Mm-hmm. So that's what you're going to pay for. You guys know that. Ooh, those are cute, too. You get what you pay for. They have really cute. Um, and they have new styles coming they out, do. too. When I talked to the guy in New York, he said they were, like, working on more feminine. They're all unisex, but he still wanted to have kind of like a bigger, like rounder, more feminine. I, say, I can see him cu- them coming out with more yeah. like a cat eye one. Yeah. It's a, or little, a little bit more rounder. Mm-hmm. I love these. They're super. And the thing is too, they're really light compared to, I, cause I was wearing my Amazon ones. I think a couple of days ago, yeah. super light compared to these. Cause they're like, I wear makeup all the time. Even if it's light, I still wear makeup, especially I have concealer here. And I hate when the glasses are so heavy that they're constantly taking off my makeup yeah, or making the like ridge right there. Yes. Um, and they are blue light. So the most important thing about them is they are blue light blocking. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you're on your computer or your phone for any extended a period of time, you are get like you are feeling the effects, whether you know it or not, you are. And when you do that, kind of, walk, you know, look at your computer or your phone with these glasses on, you definitely see the difference. You just feel you don't feel as like. You know that your feeling. eyes aren't straining like, as much. You just much. know that feeling when you're done. You like look up from the phone or the computer, and you're like, "Holy shit!" Almost yeah. like you walked outside into yeah. a bright room or something. It you will definitely feel the difference if you wear these, um, and just kind of try and cut down on that horribleness that yeah. happens. And well, all of us are on our computers. Too. And they are cute. And we all wear fake glasses, girls. You I know. know this. I do. That. Listen, we think it makes us look sweet. And if I don't wear um, makeup, really. And I want to distract from the face. We do big I hair. I put on glasses. <laughs> big hair, a lip, and some glasses. Boom. There we go. But We're no, they have go. really good styles that I love. So absolutely, it's definitely something your eyeballs need. So that's felixgrayglasses.com forward slash drinking bros. Mm-hmm. Um, so my parents taught me how to <laughs> yeah, okay. have fun. I, and like well, I be, love that. Be fun at a party. And how to? Why didn't my how parents to be teach socially, me that? Socially um, gracious uh-huh. and uh, make everyone feel included and be a chameleon to make people feel better. That's what I learned. And um, but and, what about uh, money? To, credit? Nothing. No. Oh, okay. Mm-mm. No. I think it was just my dad. My, my dad, dad does tell. this thing where he pays all of his he like whenever he gets the chance to sit down Mm -hmm. every two months every month or two months he pays all of his bills at once but by that time there's gonna be some that are late Late. (laughs) because you've like sat down at the time that works for you yeah and that doesn't necessarily work for the people that are trying to get money from you so um that's something i learned from him (laughs) do Uh, you do that too yeah like oh Whenever I there's so much things with money that I'm like, I am my parents' daughter and love it, but God dang, <laughs> it's been a fucking ups, uphill struggle. Like, thanks, like mom it. and dad. You taught thanks. me a lot of great things, a lot but of great why things, this? But not this. Yeah. 
and it's fine. My mom still be like, she'll, when she's here, I still, <laughs> I still hear her on the phone, um, paying her like internet or something because it's past due or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like on the phone, I'm like, why don't you put that on automatic? Yeah. And you know, older people are scared about putting anything on automatic bill pay because they have your, they have your account somewhere. And I just, I just don't need them. Oh, I don't need to be on the grid. My dad famously does not want to be on the grid. So it kind of sounds like my dad a little. Anyways, that's where I think I that's a dad thing, though. It's got to be a dad, you know, thing, right? Because at first, especially when social social media like Facebook was starting to get big, I don't think Instagram was as as big yet. Anytime we took like photos or be, being goofy, my dad was like, hey, hey, can, I don't I don't want to be on your your pages. Yep. Like what happens if my employer finds you guys and <laughs> Googles and, and then he puts They're two listening. and two together and and then that's I might not get, get a job or and I'm like what like you really think uh, i was like dad i think it's fine but now he's chilled out so much where i made um i have i do this really patriotic character because i i love america and i'm very patriotic oh freedom Fran yeah the freedom franny My where favorite. she's just very um she's very freedom me patriotic and she has like a kind of like country hick she's accent, overkill which, which is, is hilarious really overkill and so i did a fourth of july one which is probably one of the last ones i did and i was at home with my parents and i said hey i think it'd be really funny if, if I, if we all were like drinking and I had you guys dancing with me and my dad was like, let's do this and grab like a bunch of beers. Dad, they're going to geotag you. I know. They're going to know everything about Grabbed you. A bunch of beers. We're all like drinking and he's like dancing. Like I get my goofy side from my dad and a lot of people who would meet my dad go, no way. There's no way. But it's when he's comfortable and he's comfortable with you and he knows you well and he's like chilled and he's drinking some booze. Like he knows how to drink. I get that. I think from him too. Mm -hmm. And my mom, I have the video still. My mom looked at him. She was like, like, who are you and he's just like yeah like putting them down i'm like oh my god i love it that's awesome i know so my dad's phrase is that's how they get you <laughs> and they get you coming and going is he paranoid i'm not a, like, a little he used to be an unhealthy amount but i think now it's sort of a healthy amount oh, okay to the point like i'm the opposite where i'm like go ahead listen to me Listen to me. I need a new, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> hey, I'm FBI. in the market for a new FBI agent. How's my face yeah, looking exactly. today? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Or like, because the, all they're going to do is send me ads, right? So yeah. I'm like, mm, I'm kind of looking for a new baby carrier. <laughs> so I don't care. It's like, listen to me. I don't care. Know where I'm at. What the fuck? Gosh, um, I am going to have the fucking baby carriers now yeah. coming up on my let Facebook. Me know what's, let me know what the good deal IG. is and I'll buy it. Yeah, no. I'd love for them to just send me. I'm like, oh, thanks. I was just talking about that. Yeah. It makes life so much easier. Do you have more questions? I do. For me? Yeah. Let's, Let's get, get into another WWJD. Yeah. Okay. So I think we kind of talked about this before because um, you were saying it's kind of like something that makes you feel good about yourself. Okay. Um, have you ever had a dude hit you up from the past? And oh, yeah. um, like currently, while you've been married to like Ross, and did you, did you respond? And do you tell Ross? Mm, this one's interesting because it's kind of tied to work. Mm, so okay. let's hear it. Before Ross, I was dating someone that I made a movie with called Bellflower. And um, we were dating during that movie and then not afterwards. Mm -hmm. So he and his production company will hit me up for work. So it's kind of like, yes, and Ross does know about it. I went out and filmed some stuff with their production. Yeah. He likes to remind me all the time that he let me go out. Oh, my God. And <laughs> Just when he wants took, to, like, I make took a point. I took off your shackles. Yep. yep. I ironed And the ball shirt and chain. You. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, that one's interesting. But for the most part, we kind of stay away from that. Mm -hmm. That world of of the exes contacting you um has it well, happened so, yes yeah so have if you had an ex contact mm -hmm. you even if you don't respond and even let's say you block it or delete it do mm -hmm. you still tell ross or do you just not even mention it to him i've been hit up by someone where it was just like hey saw your saw your mom and dad in town they look great hope you're well mm -hmm. and i just responded with like you too man like i know he's married i'm married you know and we yeah. both know that uh did not tell ross mm -hmm. I don't think he told me he's not going to listen to the shows, but hey, 
Is he now? What Who if it, knows? What so if it no, was a guy? I didn't though? because I didn't think it was. If he anything, had messaged yeah. back again, like, "Hey, what are you up to? When are you going to be back in town? Sure. Anything like this?" I would have been like, I would have either had to shut it down or block it, whatever, and just be like, "Okay, I can't." But yeah. that one little message of, "Hey, I saw your mom and dad." I think I maybe would have done the same for him. Like, if I saw his parents, we were like a relationship where we knew the parents yeah. and like went on vacation together and stuff. So it's like. And he's married, too. And he's married, too. And it wasn't anything that was like, hey, stranger. Yeah. And I think that probably exes hit him up just because he is friends with all of, like, his college, it seems like. Mm -hmm. And they're all, like, Ohio State. Like, uh, they're all in these group chats and stuff. So I think that probably he has it as well. But from going through his phone, which I've done (laughs) many times... (laughs) But here's the thing: I never find anything. Like he's always very that's respectful. That's another question. Oh, he's that's a always good one. very respectful, and it's always like he'll shut things down. He mm-hmm. won't engage in any like even like flirty banter at all yeah. with anyone. So I'm just like, you fucker. Yeah, can't be mad at you now. Ah, you're so respectful. <laughs> and I was the one that looked on the fucking phone, so now I'm mad at myself, not yeah. at him. Anyway, um, do I tell him? Do you have? An instance right now that you're thinking yeah. of, okay. which is why I brought it up. To yeah, you. so yeah. Um, that's what I'm saying. I don't think this was for me. No, 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 no. no but I'm just but curious. Yeah, so um, because I went always farther curious. than if it went farther than just a like hit up, and it seems, I think that you know you when do know. You, oh, know, no, you know you're not done. when it's um more than and you can just feel it right. So in that message, uh, it could have been like, ooh, he's thinking about me. But I didn't feel that at all. I really thought he just saw my parents. Mm-hmm. It made him think of, like, you know, them. And he really just hopes, what, whatever. I may yeah. be fucking stupid. But it really no. didn't go any farther than that. Yeah. So it's like, okay, cool. Hey, how are you? I hope you're good, too. I'm a little different. Not in a bad, not in a bad way. But um, it's hard because with Chris and I, I always, like... To me, I'm like, I'll just be honest about everything. I'm going to be open about everything. If you want to ask, I'll answer. Like, I don't care. That's right? good. Um, no, yeah, it is. Sometimes he's just like, D- I didn't need to Did know I that. I need to know that. That's the other thing. And that's, Will it make them feel bad for no reason if I told him this? Probably. I know. And that's, that's where my struggle is. So there's been times where I've had people reach out to me. And you could tell, like, some guys were purposely just trying to fish and see like if I was single or if I was married or like right. if I was going to respond and you could tell everyone's just being nice just saying hey what's up yeah but to me I think to myself okay what would I like Chris to do for me type of thing mm-hmm. right and so I sit there and go okay well he has access to my shit if he really wants it like it's not like I hide anything mm-hmm. so he has access to anything and the last thing I would hate for him to do for is me, not no. is not no. Like, hey, I didn't know. Even if it was an ex, and even if he was married, mm-hmm. where the question would then be like, oh, I didn't know he hit you up. Like, when? Oh, when was that mm-hmm. type of thing? And then he would wonder in his head why I didn't tell him. Right. So I just tell him because because it, it doesn't fucking matter to me, right? Yeah, that's just how I am. Because yeah. to me, I'm like, I'll be like, oh, you, you know, like it was real super random. Like Patrick hit me up today. Oh, mm-hmm. like your first boyfriend? Yeah, really weird. He just was saying hi and. I just want to see how things were, and that was really about where it ended. Mm-hmm. And then I tell him that he doesn't worry, he doesn't care because I told him. Right. Right. He doesn't think about it. The only thing I think of is if I weren't weren't to tell him, and he was to find out, he might later on go, "Wait, why didn't you tell me that?" And I think the same thing too. Mm-hmm. Um, if I was to find like one of his exes, like maybe when you know, you're right. One of the girls who was super serious with just hit him up. I'd probably and if I saw it, I'd be like, "Oh, that's weird that he didn't tell me." So I'm mm-hmm. wondering if. There's like, yeah, more like, you know what You're I mean? Better. And I'm not, no, I'm not saying that's right or wrong. Cause some people might be like, that's overkill. You guys just need to trust Here's each other. I do. What I think about though, is I'm always, before I tell somebody something or be brutally honest with people love to do, I always think about, am I being honest with you or telling you this to get it off my chest and make myself feel better? Or am I doing it for I you? I do that specifically for him. Right. I do not do it for so me. So if it's for him absolutely because if it's for yourself to like absolve it this is with all kinds of things so like you run into somebody and it's like oh you feel weird about it are you telling him to like make yourself feel better and absolve yourself or are you making it are you telling him because you really think that would help out him and your relationship so there are certain things that it might make you feel better Mm -hmm. to tell him oh he always is very appreciative yeah of it yeah 
I you think know in I mean? that instance, for sure. Yeah. Because why not? If he could, again, if it really is no big deal, for for me, it was just kind of like, A, he's not going to like find anything or be like, he doesn't even know who this sure. person is. And it was such a like, hey, what's up? Well, that's what I mean. Good, how are you? Yeah. Then, I mean, I guess I may, I should maybe think about that, but I always am like weary of telling people stuff that, God, if you like make out with someone, if you run into someone that they would be really, you know, worried that they are worried about, or if you hang out with someone that you know you shouldn't be or something like this. Mm -hmm. But if it's something that's really just going to make you feel better, that's the only way that I think about it. The thing is, too, is is this really going to make him feel like good or bad? Well, I think every relationship's different based upon what you guys have been through and your past and everything else. So I know with us, right? I know that when he seems receptive to it, he's very receptive and he really appreciates it works for us. Um, The thing is, too, is he's had he's been deployed before and been in serious relationships. And these girls have cheated on him and left him or taken a shit like he, you know, he wants to know that things are stable. He likes knowing that. So when I'm very honest with him about these things, like it reassures him and it works for him. He knows I have trust issues because I've been cheated on and I don't really trust most men especially men in the military because i've seen them cheat like all the time and so for him being open and honest with me about these things leaves me little to no doubt in my head that oh, okay you know what i mean if I you were to tell me like, and so that's what works for us where i think realistically even before like i never told any of my exes unless it was something that you felt was an issue right sure. so yeah that's like, what i'm saying but i never felt like with anything i was just kind of like oh it's fine for girls and especially on the drinking broettes that I see, like the issues they have with their, you know, relationships and the thing that they talk about, it's like maybe that's going to bring up a f- an unwarranted fight that doesn't need to happen, right? Yeah, so and that's like, why I was asking. You know your partner, you know what they need, you know what you need. Um, just really think about if you're doing it for yourself mm-hmm. or if you're doing it to make the relationship better and stronger, if you're doing it to make them feel better. Um, because again, like with certain relationships, depending on their baggage or their jealousy or whatever, it could start a fucking fight that you don't need. Dude. Oh yeah, like, he's yeah. Well, the thing is, tell too, the fucking so guy, you know, you're married and really good to hear from you. But you know, you handle it. Yeah, you are well, in charge that's what I mean. as well. Like, you, you handle don't have the way to tell him everything. You either. want to because some people would respond and other people would just not respond, and other people would block. Like it all really depends. Yeah. So the reason why I brought this up too is because we are talking on this app right now because he's in a in a course, right? Okay. And they are monitoring this like work phone that he's on, so we talk through this app where it's like encrypted, right? Okay. And he can delete messages. Okay. Um. So me and him can still talk, and they're not reading that got shit. Got it. And, got it. You know. And stuff like that. So, literally, I had this app, this little app downloaded, not even for like four hours. And this dude hits me up from like back when I lived in California. Is it WhatsApp? What is it? WhatsApp? No. Oh, okay. Um, it's no, it's something similar. But I guess WhatsApp got like hacked or something, so people don't use that yeah, anymore. Yeah, because the cheating app. Yeah. Well, and so here's the thing. I mentioned something to Chris and I said, am I allowed to like send you stuff? Cause I wanted to send him like the trailer and like yeah, all these yeah, other yeah. things or like pictures. And he's like, yeah, you can delete He's like, it's encrypted and you can delete it. And I made like, a comment like, oh, perfect. Right? Because right. immediately to me, I thought in my head, this is a cheating, cheating app. app. And it by the is. way, too, when I went to go find him in my contacts, like obviously his phone wasn't on it, like his personal one, because yeah. he doesn't have it, his work phone. But it was all dudes. It was all, and especially all military dudes in my contact book. Mm-hmm. And he also told me too, well, I guess a lot of military guys use this because it's easy to use in country. But I'm, part of me is kind of like, yeah, mm-hmm. some of these guys are sketchy. Mm-hmm. And I know that they cheated I on their wives before. They use it. Yeah. Like I know that they cheated on their wives before. So I kind of had mentioned like that to him and we like joked about it. Right. And he just like reassured. He can tell a little bit. Right. That mm-hmm. was kind of like, do I need, I don't need to worry about anything. He's like, no, yeah. absolutely not. And uh, sometimes I'm get stupid like that. And not even two hours later, this dude hits me up from California who I made out with. He was like one of the bouncers there. And he was like, hey, Tiff, are you married yet? You know, like asking questions like that. Like, hope you're doing well. Right. Blah, 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 blah. And I knew, obviously, what he wanted. And I hit up my friend from California. And I sent her the screenshot like, what the fuck? Right. And she goes, she goes, he knows you're married. I told him last time I we went to that bar. Right. So, of course, Chris and I are having a, a conversation later on, like talking on the phone. I, I just asked him to like. Hey, have you had had anyone random hit you up on his app? Because he's had girls before in mm-hmm. the past, like hit him up from post deployments, like girls he might have fucked like from years and years back on the deployment. And I'm like, okay, you like you might want to tell me 
you know, home girl. <laughs> like, yeah. You up. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, so anyway, he goes, no, why? I just use this for work. And I, I told him, mm -hmm. I said, so this like, guy hit me. Yeah. Up, I just whatever. wanted to tell him. And he was like, oh, that's fucking random as shit. I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> and he's like, no, I, and he just, again, was like, no, this is just for work. I don't have this, blah, 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 blah. We had a conversation. We both reassured each other. And that's the end of it. Right. And that's good. And, and that's, that's probably the right way to what be. What works for us. But some people have to tiptoe dance. And then there's oh, also no, other people like us. in this moment too. Uh, when this person hit me up from my past that was like, and it seemed perfectly like, hey, I just saw somebody that. Yeah, no, like, that's different. Is very close to you and they look great. And I, you know, they said hi to him probably. And like, mm -hmm. hey, saw them. Uh, they, they look great. Hope you're well, you know, whatever. And then me saying the same thing back to me, that's an exchange I had uh, as an individual person with someone. And like, uh, I don't think that he needs to tell me if something like that Correct. happened and yeah. he was respectful and shut it down, was just like, hey, and it didn't happen again. I don't think that he needs to tell me. Mm -hmm. So in that instance, like I didn't need to bring that up to him because that was an exchange I had as my own person. And I shut it down the no, way I, yeah, that I, I agree with that can as an adult that can make my own decisions kind of shut that down. And I felt that it was just very, See, it, it, it wasn't uh, anything that would be perceived as bad. Absolutely. So, and you again, he doesn't even know this person. So it was like, whatever. Um, if it was a long conversation that this person kept citing, da, 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 like, I think um, there's other things too. just use your use your own judgment as an individual person that can make your own decisions and um, go from there. Right. You probably have a lot more respectful exes than I do because I did it a ton of douchebags in the past. Oh, okay. And I would still say well, that I've been married for six years in the beginning. It wasn't really like that. But okay. Six years in. So I mean, maybe later, maybe know later on, what the like, deal is. Yeah. some of the some of my exes will really grow up. But I feel like a lot of them still are like single and playing yeah. the game and doing all that like still and they're around my age too so i know for a fact majority of people like any of the guys who have hit me up has not been like in, yeah, in my yeah, yeah, instance yeah. Mm -hmm. been like oh my god i hate you saw your family yeah, yeah, yeah. right so yeah. there there'd be like one guy i know like one of the first guys i did it in high school if he hit me up and so, and like that's completely different if he hit me up and was like oh my god hey because i know he's a father of like three mm -hmm. his family was really good friends with my family like we always hung out i would not tell chris that right because because right. to me that is just like a friend at that point right right but all i'm saying like anyone else probably yeah. besides him i would tell chris because it's probably sketchy and i don't want him to for sure find out i guess i don't know everyone's different in this. some people are probably different. like you're that's silly uh, no i like that like i like the way that you guys handle it he's obviously it very receptive to it um there's some guys that wouldn't be so it's like just read the room use your judgment yeah. right mm -hmm. do the right thing for your relationship and for yourself i think that's a hard part for people to understand is that no relationships alike no relationships every alike. relationship there is, are some things different. that are glaringly like holy shit don't sure, do that but the thing is so that but, there are, I mean, there are people out there who will invite other people into their bedroom with them in relationships. And I'm like, who are it's married and like, that's you? their thing. And that's what I mean. So for most that might not work, but for a lot of others, they'll be like, yeah, that's my thing. Yeah. So I think with a lot of these things, I always try to have an open mind about it. And that's why I ask you. Cause I like getting different perspectives. Yeah. Cause I think to myself, oh, I didn't even think of it in that way. Yeah. And I think if we had an open mind about it and go, oh, okay, well, that's awesome. That works for them. Or maybe we could try this too. Or nope, that's totally not our thing, but I respect it. That's, yeah. I think, the biggest thing is sometimes people don't think about that. Like, hey, this is what works for us. And that's totally fine. Yeah. Not trying to shove it down your throat. Just just talking about it. Yeah. You know, like just woman to woman. Prescriptions. Per per prescriptions. I'm just getting different prescriptions, <laughs> which I need for energy meds. Um, should we do one more question? Yeah. I have one and more for we'll, you. Yeah, we'll keep this one short and then we'll do oh. broettes. We'll see. How this oh, we'll goes. see how it goes. Well, yeah. And then we'll do drinking broette of the week. Do you have one or should we? No. You Maybe we should go on our. Yeah, I can get on uh, Facebook. Um, and so see. we just made our post. We can maybe like pull somebody from here. We could. Uh, and I'm actually I'll look to at the podcast page. Um, yeah. Oh, that's see. right. Right. To see if anyone hit maybe us up. Maybe someone like put it in. Dang. Okay. So next question for you. Um, 
we have four requests so i'll look that up yes okay yeah so the next one so while you're answering this i'll look okay um so let's say here's an example and obviously we're realizing all these examples are things i've been seeing <laughs> that i've been having around lately yeah okay so someone you find out someone online specifically right is talking like mad shit about you like mad shit yeah um and they're like leaking shit to like dirty fucking tabloids about you that's not even true and like making up lies tabloids right? go ahead yeah, we'll say like tabloids or like different pages different people that are going to spread the information right that's kind of like a tabloid okay right okay false information mm -hmm. and they're doing it secretly so that no one knows it's them because what they do is they constantly preach about supporting other women and having each other's backs. But yet they're behind the scenes giving shit about you to other people to use against you. So what do you do? Because you know who the person is. I do. Um, you know, you, you end up finding out who the person is who's talking this major shit about you. I find. So do you call them out? Like, do you call them up publicly? Do you hit them up personally? Do you just sit there and go, this is not even fucking worth my time. I don't give a fuck. It's not even worth my time. I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. And especially on, I think this is how I handle it. So there was someone like that, um, KGB. And the way that I handled it was just not, what they wanted mm -hmm. was um, recognition. What they wanted was to feed off of your fame a little bit. Even if you're mad, it's like a kid. Mm, they want to be relevant. Even bad, even bad, a, a reprimanding from you is still attention, mm -hmm. right? Um, and, uh, I find that if you just keep your head down, do your work and move forward, it, all those things fall away. Yeah. It's the only way. Cause once you engage, this is what they want, right? That's how you feel everything. like it. Even like with a, even with a guy that's like getting crazy spinning out or a girl or anyone like you really, if you just let them spin like a little top by themselves mm -hmm. and don't like give them another turn they just literally spin around in a circle until they fall to the ground yeah because they're by themselves like being crazy or like you know like when someone sends texts that are like crazy 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 yeah you don't respond to any of it they yeah. go crazier 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 until they finally like their head explodes and they stop texting you right yeah because they just literally like they're not getting any response and then they start thinking about what they texted and thinking about what they said and now now they feel crazy i don't know that's the way that I deal with it. But also, I've never had anything like that really happen. I mean, KGB tried, but. <laughs> what? Yeah. With you? With me and my business, yeah. My oh. business and my, you know, she tried to take down something that is my livelihood. And that's why that's never again. Cut off. Even going to be a part of. Like forcing on a penis. thing. Yes. Yep. Because of that. Uh. And um, I know why she did it. I don't know why someone else would do it sure. to you, but probably because you have enough followers that even if you write some public thing about them, they get their names. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it's not particularly about me, but it's, you know, females in like a community is what I'm noticing. Right. Oh. So whether it's like a military or vet community and stuff like that. And I just I think it's like I think it's humorous mm -hmm. almost to the point to where this individual was trying to be sneaky, mm -hmm. right? And like give information to this like meme page that is harassing and bullying women. Mm. And yet oh. on her page and in her life, she's constantly saying like, we need to support each other and like empower each other as women. And like, we need to stick together. And I'm like, how the fuck, what? That's the problem. And so we that's where some people it, hate social media and I don't blame them is because they sit there and go, dude, everyone's fake as fuck. And it's like, I know. They are. So I am pretty honest sometimes. Like, if, if I don't like someone, I'm not going to tell everyone I don't like them. But the person's going to know that I don't care for them. Yeah. I but I am never going to waste my time and energy mm -hmm. going at them. You don't put their name anywhere. No. Because that's what they want. Like, and, and here's the thing. If you feel like you have to put their name out there or you have to talk shit about them, why don't you just talk to them first? Yeah. Right? And get that shit knocked out. And I right. always respond to like bad comments or like shitty comments as just like 
uh, thank you. I'll just put like, <laughs> thank you for your input or thank you for your opinion or thank or I've actually or done like that before them, too. Or, or I'll make I'll a joke like, back. Or uh, yeah. Or I'll just like laugh at it, like put laughing faces mm-hmm. or thumbs up or whatever and just be like, thank you. Like, thank you for watching. There's sometimes <laughs> if you I don't will, like it. At least you watch. Yeah. There's sometimes <laughs> I will do that and be nice back or I'll make like a joking comment back because sometimes I don't know if it's a, it was technically supposed to be a joke on them and really taken the wrong way right. or many other times I don't fucking engage because you are wasting my time mm. all you want is clout all you want is attention bye bye I'm blocking you yeah right and that's the best thing really just block and move on that's what yeah. I'm saying put your blinders on keep doing your work keep doing what you're doing and all those fucking people will literally fall in the wake of your speedboat yeah um do you have more questions for next time? I like this. Yeah, yeah, we can do Let's this. Keep Definitely a couple. next time. We'll keep a couple. Yeah, but I thought uh, this would be much longer, but it wasn't. It was because we both agree. <laughs> wasn't no. Well, I will say, I just will be honest really quick. There There's are some gonna be times stuff we don't. I, uh, yeah, for sure. There has been times where, like, I can be really quick to anger sometimes. That's one of the things I try to work on. Right, mm-hmm. I'm not reactionary anymore. Like I was when I was younger. Now I'm. And it, Luckily, I'm an adult. I learned from mom on mistakes. You count to 10, yeah. But there are some times when I see stuff like this in this in this woman in particular, I just mm. want to be like, I want to fucking yeah, crush yeah. you. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. I want to. I, I want to. Yeah. But then I sit there and go, no, really? Is it really worth your Is time? Is it worth it? Is it really a waste of energy? She, this person who is completely irrelevant and not in your life, is now getting under my skin and, it, like, affecting my life. Fuck you. You're too busy for no. that. No. You are not important enough to start affecting my life. And so that's when I sit there and go, eh, whatever. Yeah. Right? It's a lot more like the worst insult that you can do is just be like, meh. Well, I think that's the worst. Right? Like there's nothing. You can call me a fucking asshole, fucking bitch. At least you're passionate and you give a shit. Yeah. If you just go, meh, oh my God, I'll die. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But meh. the thing is too, is like I think it's funny like individuals are trying to be sneaky about stuff like this. Right? And then I'm like, do you? Do you forget who you're messing with? Like you're messing with a military community of women. Like my friends are my friends are analysts, like intel analysts. I'm a fucking I was an interrogator for the last four years. I fucking looked up shit on people. Like I don't find anything on people. I love it. Girls are so good at that too, right? Oh yeah. So I'm thinking like, you really want to play this game? Ooh. Like, come on. We can stalk a motherfucker. Oh, girls are great at it. Into a cave. Yeah. You know, you got a new guy. <laughs> find out everything on him. I'll find you everything. Everywhere. <laughs> But anyway, I found out when he lost his first baby tooth. Maybe that was a passive threat. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> that almost sounded like it, didn't it? Yeah. Don't mess with me. You're going to have to tell me who this person is. Obviously, I'll come for off you. Off air. <laughs> um, but more importantly, let's get to the drinking bro yes. so of wanna, the week. I'll shout out someone here. So we didn't really get a nomination, but I think okay, this is really we're exciting. Very, you guys were, like I said, we're recording before SHOT Show. Yeah. So we'll start to get them, I think, after this well, show. Well, not unless I'm I look sure. at Facebook and I could really spend time doing this, but I'm not going to right now. So... What I want to do is I want to shout out Nicole Dalton from IG. She was the first girl to message us on our Instagram page on Yay! Drinking Brats Podcast. Thanks, girl. And she's really excited. She goes, I just want to say I recently found out about your guys' Facebook page, and I'm really excited to find true women like me. I didn't think it was possible to find others that wanted to talk about things so openly, <laughs> um, you know, who like to drink and have a sense of humor. I really feel like there's a true bond. She goes, since oh many of gosh. us are so far away from each other, um, this is just something that will bring us all together. So I'm super excited about the podcast and I'm ecstatic to create lifelong friends across the world. Again, congrats. So oh my gosh, I love this. Nicole, Nicole, thank what's you up? for and the thank support. Thank you for starting the conversation because that is true. We want yeah. to engage with you guys. Um, we want you to send us stuff you want us to talk about. We want it to be a dialogue and you guys have been doing this group, uh, drinking broettes for a really long time, way before us. So you are the gatekeepers and we love you. Yeah. And, um, thanks for listening. We're so excited. We are. Oh my God. I'm going to get my high pitched girly voice. I I know. It's like that. It was like made me cry. I'm like, girl. You're right. You're right. I know. But thank you so much for all the love and support, guys. We love and you guys. Until next time. See ya. Good night. Yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting your next move.